Lou, I remember you saying once that there were ways to buy houses for $10. Is that really possible? Oh, yeah. Erica, that's a great question. Uh, in our world, what happens is that you talk with sellers, you get the details about their existing financing. You discover that by the time you get through all the costs to sell the property, you actually end up with a number. Once you take into account the existing mortgage on the property, you actually end up with a negative number. And if it's a negative number, that's an opportunity to buy the house for what we call $10, which is consideration on a contract. And in many cases, sellers will actually pay you to buy their house. Now, why would they do that? Because of the numbers. And if you don't believe it's possible for a seller to pay you to buy their house, just call any title company that you know in your local area and ask them the question, do you ever see people come to a closing with a check where they actually have to pay to sell their house. And what you'll hear is only all the time. So as a result of that issue coming up for people, we know that when we sit down with a seller and counsel with them and educate them on the costs to sell, generally speaking, when they see those numbers, they're going to accept those numbers and know that they're real. And so the same is true when you get and take into account an existing mortgage on the property, then buying it for $10 is absolutely possible. Now, the other possibility also is bad paperwork. So sometimes banks um, played some games and some shenanigans with a lot of people's homes. And when we look at the paperwork, we actually discover that the paperwork is bad. And so that can create an opportunity for a settlement at a later date. And sometimes people don't have the time, energy or money to defend on a lawsuit like that. So they will go ahead and sell you their upside down house. The bank loan 700,000, but it's only worth 500,000. So there's a big loss in there uh, for somebody and people sometimes are ready to go on with their lives. They don't want to deal with this anymore. If you'll take it on, that's another example of a $10 house where you take it on and now you negotiate, you take on their litigation rights. They actually sell you their litigation rights and then you litigate with the bank to determine a number that will be agreeable to both of you. And, uh, and then that process can take years in fact, and a lot of sellers just say, look, if you'll take this off my hands for $10, I'll be happy with that. So Erica, there's another, another example of a $10 house.